Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and in this video I'll be talking about a deep learning project which is also called ANPR or Automatic Number Plate Recognition System. Uh, the project is really cool. Uh, it uh, recognizes or detect the vehicle number plate, right? And it tells you the uh, number extracted from the number plate uh, automatically, right? And I want you to know if you are enrolled in any master or bachelor program, you can contact me on this WhatsApp or maybe this mail to discuss about your coursework or projects you are working on. Okay, let's get started with the project. So this is the simple UI uh, of the project. And you can see we got the uh, heading as automatic number plate recognition app. And this is built by the Flask, right? Uh, with the Python and you can see the description so we have to upload an image uh, of the number plate of the vehicle and this app will tell you the uh, license number plate uh, with the help of deep learning model and the model we are using it is YOLO but let's just start our app and give you a demo so uh, this is the example input or some starting input to check our app and you can see the uh, number plate we got is shown here and this is the ui uh, built by the uh, javascript right so we have used some javascript here and you can see the description is the same and you got this button so this original image and this was the your input and this is the image produced by our model or our app right and let's see if our model predicted it right so yeah it's lr double three t double e so yeah it uh, recognize and detect the number plate uh, hundred percent correct right but uh, I, I have to uh, tell you that it will not be the case with every uh, picture uh, or the every uh, vehicle because there are so many factors right uh, lightning factor or maybe the vehicle number plate uh, isn't that clear to the model uh, or the writing style isn't uh, perfect so uh, there can be so many uh, factors but uh, the accuracy we are getting is quite great and you can see the results right now let's uh, give it some other input now let's give it this one so this is quite a big number and you can see we got uh, 21 bh and if I just zoom in a bit so 21 bh2345 and yeah so you can see it uh, it just excluded the double a so that's what i was talking about because uh, the data on which we have trained uh, was uh, was considering or having the number plates with uh, only this kind of length right uh, so uh, but the accuracy is good you can just uh, train it on your custom data set and uh, get the results as required right and now let's see the app so this is the full uh, project files and let's open it in the vs code microsoft vs code and yeah let me just show you how you can build this okay so this is the app.py which is the main file and if I can show you so we are uh, running or executing this file with the help of python python app.py here right and I'm using the anaconda and a dedicated environment for this ANPR with the with the python 3.7 because mm, uh, it has torch and other packages which can be uh, or you can say which are stable on this 3.7 version and as you know uh, the 3.11 is uh, here but uh, 
the torch uh, pi torch or packages like that uh, can be um, you can say break by that version by the new version because uh, these are not stable right now right so it's better to use this 3.7 with the with the anaconda you can always contact me for uh, this anaconda confusion if you want and uh, so the pe uh, model we are using here is the yolo v5 so it is uh, you only look once and the version is 5 and we are deploying it uh, custom on the custom data uh, and uh, in our local machine right so that was the approach and you can see we are using the model which is yolo v5 master and it is custom data set and the source is the local machine and this path is the is the weight file uh, which is uh, uh, here best.pt pt is the extension for the weight file for the yolo and this is the weight file we have uh, get from this notebook when if i just show you when we have executed in the uh, google uh, collab right because uh, you can uh, guess that this yolo v5 is quite an uh, huge model so it will uh, require some computation so google collab uh, can just uh, give you the GPU power so I have used that and you can see this uh, file uh, this last.pt uh, was was the our uh, best file right and I have uh, used some other uh, techniques to make this better and that's why I, I was calling it best.pt and so this was executed on the collab but uh, i'm showing you here in the in the vs code because we have uh, get the uh, this uh, weight file and that's what we wanted and the uh, these path is uh, is the requirement or the syntax requirement for using the yolo v5 on your custom data okay and let's see the uh, templates we are using right so in the uh, index you got this heading you have seen this in the app and the, some description and you have uh, the submit button where we will uh, give the file or the jpg input file of the vehicle uh, number plate and then in the display what we are doing is uh, we are getting this uh, file and uh, processing it in the app.py and then uh, we have two files which is the original image which and then the other file is the output of our model the output image and by using the on click functionality of the javascript we are uh, changing or uh, using the uh, toggle of this fun uh, buttons right okay and this is the javascript which we are using okay and this uh, whole source code you can get me uh, get from the description there will be a link about it so you can easily download it from there right okay and let's see what we have missed uh, So this static and template, I hope you know about it. It's from the Flask, and let's see the uh, packages we have used in this uh, uh, project. So PyTorch, NumPy, Pandas. These are all the basic packages, and uh, Jupyter. Uh, we have using it. Easy OCR to extract the text from the uh, uh, number plate. So these are the packages, and you can just. Uh, install it from these commands right and I uh, have uh, made this uh, versions or you can say the uh, requirement.txt which you can easily install it with the Python right uh, 
so this will give you exact uh, versions of all the packages you need to run this project and there are these uh, inst instructions when you download this project you will get this instruction uh, file instructions to run project and you will get all these uh, methods so uh, there are three methods I have uh, written in this file and you can just uh, follow any of this and run this project on your local machine or uh, I have uh, said uh, in case you are unable to run the project you can always contact me on this whatsapp or email right so I will just uh, maybe take and uh, take care of that right with the zoom call okay and you will get all these files uh, with the uh, in a zip file uh, from the description and you can download it from there so I hope you like the project and this was it from for this video and I will meet you in another video with some amazing project thanks for watching